Hello and good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to Monday Night Twitch. I am your host, The Wandering Toque. Joining me tonight, as always, is my lovely co-host, Daniel. Hey! Hey, hey, Daniel. How's it going tonight? You know, it's great. And it's good to be back in Arkham. Good. Every well, week you seem a little bit better. <laughs> then what? <laughs> then, the, then, the week, then the week prior. Wow, I wonder like I wonder what my starting level was, <laughs> or, or when you or when you started counting the starting level. When do when do you think we noticed the dip? Okay, <laughs> all right, and of course, joining us again is Jesse. How are you, Jesse? I'm doing good. How are How are you? Good, good. It's been three weeks, so I had to yeah. I had to refresh myself where we were, what's been happening, who I who I'm playing. But here we are. This is. Scenario six of our return to Path Car to Carcosa campaign. We are playing Ooh. the Pallid Mask. Mm. Uh, I this guess is a fun one. Yeah, this is fun. And uh, I think our last time we played this, the video crapped out, and I never got it uploaded. So this is actually the first time it'll be on our channel. Well, let's, let's unless, make it a good one. It just craps out again. Nope, nope. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are looking at the campaign log. Things to note. We were in this insane asylum, and this guy told us about this Nigel Engram fellow before this monstrous horror reached out from under the bed and ate him. Yeah. And for it, we thought that was good advice, so we took a boat to Paris where we got chased by an <laughs> organist for three days. And then we entered a house. I We didn't have... We don't have the dead guy in this one, but... Um, he is already here. Uh, we think, mm -hmm. yeah. So Nigel Ingram is probably dead. I'm guys. I'm starting to think we're still in the asylum. I don't know about yeah, you. That's impossible. Um, because for some reason we're going to be in the catacombs beneath Paris. What? I don't know. We might think this was a mistake. <laughs> <but>. Anyways, <laughs> so that's our that's our quick synopsis. And right. we are, of course, playing starter investigators using only the starter decks and associated upgrades. I am playing Nathaniel Cho. Daniel is playing Stella Clark. And Jesse is Hardy Walters. All those are true facts. All right. Daniel. <clears throat> Gentlemen, I have a little story for you. Are you ready? Let's hear it. Okay. Check the campaign log. If you did not escape the gaze of the phantom, or if you were unable to find Nigel. Actually, we uh, we kicked butt last scenario. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. We found his abode or found him. Actually, we found right. Nigel's home. Okay. <laughs> yes. So we'll skip to intro two. The contents of Nigel Ingram's home answer none of your questions about the king in yellow, but do hint at where you should head next. The old tattered map you found on his coffee table depicts a section of the infamous catacombs of Paris. One particular room on the map has been circled with pen, and next to it is written, The key to opening the path lies here. You swallow your fear and head immediately for the entrance to the catacombs underneath Rue de la Tomisoire, recording your campaign log that you entered the catacombs on your own. That sounds good. Now... Mike, I must ask you to check the campaign log once again, my friend. Okay. Is Ishimaru Haruko listed under VIP's interview? She is. Well, let me tell you about her information. Just past the archway closest to you, you see a familiar symbol etched into the skull of a sheep. Rows of concentric semicircles lined with exotic runes. Two wavy lines descend from the design leading into the skull's lower jawbone. You recognize it as the pattern Haruko had shown you. Wondering why it would appear here, you examine the skull in greater detail. As soon as you touch the underside of the skull's jawbone, its mouth suddenly opens. Bones collapse to the ground as the wall slides to reveal a new path. Remember that you opened a secret passageway. Nice. All right. Okay. Mike, is there anything about setup you need to tell the fans? Okay, so I, I guess I should... Uh, Coax everyone's memories a little bit. Uh, this is a random map. There are a lot of locations. And because we're playing the return to scenario, there are four extra harder locations. So you shuffle them all together, you remove four at random, and you're left with the same 11 card deck. There are two locations in particular that we're looking for. They're both in the bottom five. 
This map is different from all of the others in that there are no connection icons. Instead, locations are connected if they are adjacent to each other. That is horizontally and vertically, not diagonally. Okay. Every location is catacombs. And as an additional cost for you to enter, you have to spend, in our case, three clues as a group. And when we open up that location, it will tell us where to throw new catacombs locations. And we keep mm -hmm. going until we satisfy the conditions. So we do have to immediately uh, trigger the forced effect on the gate to hell. Because we entered here on our own, we enter through the gate. And we don't just wake up somewhere in the middle. And this says you immediately put the top two catacombs into play above and below the gate to hell. So this is our starting location, our starting map. And we will see how it grows. We may have to, manu to maneuver stuff as this goes on. Well, it sure looks exciting. It is. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Now, one last thing, Dan. Do you mind reading the last point, the third last point on the page under setup? Each investigator begins play at the starting location. All right. If you open yeah. a secret passageway, choose a catacombs location adjacent to the starting location and reveal it. So we get to open one of these for free. Nice. Harvey Thinking Man. Are we going up or are we going down? Well, if we're going to go down into the tunnels... Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Am I reckoning? If we're going to go down into the tunnels, we will need to head downwards. Down. <laughs> Thank God we brought the professor. <laughs> brilliant. So brilliant. If we control the class of Black Onyx, do we control that? Did someone actually grab that? Uh, Harvey, did I? Harvey, Harvey has it. Yeah, I should have it. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me make sure it's in here. Um, should be. We didn't have to throw it away for anything last time, did we? Uh, I, I mean, I, I know I have it. I just want to make sure it's in. I don't think I wrote it down is... here, but it is. Yeah, it says, there it is. Yep. Got it. I have it. Okay, so we have a secret passage here. It opens up catacombs to the right. If we control the class of Black Onyx, we can just open the catacombs freely. Oh, uh, reveal the catacombs location to the right. Yeah. Whereas I believe we can just walk here normally if we don't have the class. We just have to spend the clues. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, no. Uh... No, we don't have to spend the clues because that's a requirement of the back of this. That's what I mean, yeah. So if we don't have the class boat, oh. we can still walk to, to that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, I guess okay. that's it for setup. Uh, the Band of the Pallid Mask is out of Daniel's deck for now, as per the setup instructions. And that don't. should be it. Don't like how you said for now. Well, you know, he's he's sitting there watching us. He's never... Just beady eyes. <laughs> well, Mike, I believe you have an agenda to read to us. So I do. Agenda 1A. Empire of the Dead. The dank, chill air of the catacombs penetrates your clothes and causes you to shiver. Everywhere you look, the remains of the dead greet you. A grim reminder of your own mortality. Each location is connected to each location adjacent to it. Six doom thresholds. All right, Jesse. Nice. <clears throat> Act, Act 1A, through the catacombs. End of the long tunnel next to you. The stranger steps through the darkness, his pale mask glinting in the candlelight. Wait, you call out. He glances your way before vanishing into the shadows. Once more, you are forced to track him down to find answers. Objective, find the man in the pallid mask. He is somewhere in the catacombs. Do not advance until you are instructed. You know, that fellow is kind of a pain in the ass. He is. Yeah. yeah. We've punched him four times so far. Can we ever talk okay. to him? Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even remember. I sure haven't. Something makes it different. We just keep sending this boxer to punch him in the face. Yeah. Uh, I had a safeguard, and I totally ditched it because I needed my boxing gloves. I wanted maximum mulligan potential. But, you did but, the right thing. Did yeah. you get him? Oh, you did. Good. Yeah. Okay, so important to note that this is our starting location. It is denoted by this giant resource. Okay. We're going to need to know that. Spoiler alert. All right. Who wants to go first? Hmm. 
Um, I don't have like a ton to do. I was gonna try to pick up clues, maybe draw a card, maybe well, um, put down a chicken. I was. I think I only have like one card to put down. So... Me too, actually. <laughs> so why don't you guys go first, since I can't get clues. Yeah, I say let me see how many clues I get, um, because. I guess probably it's probably only be like two, but um, I okay. Yeah, let me go first because I can get vaulted knowledge down. Um, right. Does anyone need cards? I won't say no. I wouldn't say no. Okay, let's see here. Um, okay, cool. So I, I don't have grannies or guns. <laughs> <Okay>. mm. <laughs> right, then I'm gonna use this for uh, uh, Stella here. Um, okay, so that's first action. Section uh, second action, I will do burning the midnight oil. Get two two resources and I investigate and oh, yeah, we should probably see what that is, eh? Hey? This oh. is from the Hell's Gate, I think. Oh nice. Okay, so it's best so, to circle Hell's Gate rather than go away in a linear pattern. Yeah, I think what I have found is that you kind of try to build it in a, as much of a square as you can. Yeah, to try to keep it close to Hell's Gate. Got it. Okay, we have two cultists in the bag, just so you guys know, and that is important for me and if you're shooting Derringers, Daniel. Okay. Uh, you deal one less damage if you reveal the cultist Ooh. and you're successful. Oh, Dang. gosh. Yeah. Well, uh, Stella, I successfully yeah. investigated. Why don't you draw two cards? You know, I would be delighted. Let me draw two weaknesses. Oh, I drew a gun and will to survive. Hey, you got your nice. uh, all right. I'm gonna investigate. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, I might just go ahead and throw it on my Necronomicon while I have the chance. So here, there we go. All right, that's me. All right, I'm done. Mike, you mind if I go? I'm just gonna yeah, do it. Not do very much. All right, so I'll spend one, two, three. I think every girl needs a gun. <laughs> and I think every girl needs a pet. <laughs> pet and I think um, I'm up one, right? Yeah. Maybe I won't try to grab a clue at this moment. Is that all right with you guys? I mean, if you're not, yeah, I'm not I am. I'm in them as well. Okay. Yeah, do what you got to do. Um, I'm going to take a dollar, actually. That's me. Okay. Uh, let's get my boxing gloves out. I'm actually thinking I get Relentless out. Because I have the, I actually have the opportunity to play it. Yes. Just in case there's a Crypt Chill or something in here. Oh, yeah. And there is no penalties if I fail this, right? Because there aren't any tablets or Elder things in the bag. Yeah. Actually, given that I'm at the starting location, I'm just going to investigate raw. I succeed. Ha ha. Here, I'll get you a clue here. There you go. Oh, you're using the, that. I'm using the counter. Okay. Yeah. Is oh, this yeah. your um, first ever clue of the campaign? No, no. Greta Wagner <laughs> got a couple clues back at the beginning. Ah, yes. Miss Wagner. Okay. I'm more than just a pretty face, you know. Yes. All right. That's all of us. <laughs> Uh, cool. monsters, no monsters, upkeep. Take a dollar, draw a card. Hey, buddy. Hi. <laughs> My other buddy, oh, Mr. You're not Randall. Me. I'm sorry. All right, let me head up to... And what do you got here? A feat of mind. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, this level zero version is just kind of expensive to use. But it might have to be, well, yeah, it's just too expensive. Okay, All bad right. card order, Harvey, Stella, uh, Nathaniel? Sure. Okay. So we, I'm going to shuffle real quick, uh, <laughs> just in case. No, I already shuffled. You just shuffled everything back. I shuffled too. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fun. What'd you get? Well, we, we are not sticking around here. The pit Ooh, below. Read it to us. What is it? All right, all right, all right. The location gets uh, revelation attached to the location to your location if there's no copy of the pit below attached. Attached to the location gets plus one shroud, 
forced at the end of the round, each investigator at the attached location takes the lead in and discard the pit below. I think we so should we... Um, leave this place. Yes. Now, the way I'm reading it, uh, you discard this, the pit below, regardless. Right? Yes, you don't need to get hit by it. Okay. Oh, I, yeah, I guess that's right. I and always... Uh... Period, and then, yeah. 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 Okay. We can go back if we need to. Yeah. All right. Okay, my card, Daniel. My card says something like this, grasping hands. Yeah. Okay. I will go completely just on my own, you know, virtue. So I'm I feel afraid of failing. I mean, there's a lot of zeros in the bag. That's a minus. Oh two. no, I failed. Hold on a sec. I'll take one damage. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in that. Yeah, no, no, you're fine. I'll spend a dollar to grit my damn teeth. Okay, that's pretty good. I got plus one to each of my skills. Nice. And guess what? I have four actions at plus one. That's awesome. Oh, I'm taking four this turn. Unless someone has lots of will pips they want to send my way. What do you got going on here? Uh, uh, kind of up to you guys. Again. I might just let it go. I mean, I don't like um, taking I've got neither there. rain nor snow. Uh, That's a pretty good use for it. This is one of those I feel like I'm going to draw a zero or a negative four. Well, you know what? I can, I've got some yeah. help for you if it's really bad. Okay. 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 All right. I'm just going to yeah. go raw. I'm at the starting location. Skulls are zero. Hey, hey. There you go. Yes. There you go. Good. Right. Yeah, I was, just, I was just thinking where that neither rain nor snow, snow might help when we're getting farther away from the starting yeah. location. Yeah, okay. I got like a hundred of them. Okay, that's not a bad way to start, hey? Eh? Okay. Um, if you guys want, I can investigate first, uh, and then I can get Nathaniel two cards. Yeah, that works for me. Um, and then I can I can investigate, investigate, move, and then move out. Um, so here. Go for it. Uh, yeah, let me go for it. Here we go. Investigate minus two. So I got that one. Go ahead and draw two cards. Okay. I'm just, I'll handle the clue. I'm, with the vault of knowledge out, this is this is pretty nice. Uh, cool. Second action, I'm going to investigate. Um, shroud. Oh, so I still got it. Harvey, can you open up the catacomb to the north? Sure. Um, so three clues. Certainly can't find its PP location. While you are investigating, you have one fewer hand slot. Yeah, yeah. If you want, I can. Oh, there's. It's, oh my gosh, there's six clues here. Does that mean you drop your two-handed weapon? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm not investigating. Well, not like I was. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right. So we have only one uh, catacomb opened. That is worth victory, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and there you have it, folks. And uh, we can't... We can only do one of the catacombs, right? Yes, because what the other one goes below, and we cannot do below. Right. Okay. So, Harvey, that's where you ended up? That's where okay. I ended up. So I am even against that one. Now that I'm plus one on all my skills, I don't see any real reason to not just go up there and try to scoop up as many as I can. Yeah, whatever whatever gets us clues. Because I don't know what I'm going to do in the secret passage with five shroud. Well, yeah, I'd say I don't I don't, think... we don't really need that location for now. Uh, all right. If you want to try so grabbing, I was to say, if you want to try grabbing, we're going to need clues. If you want to try grabbing yeah. these, yeah, I don't know. I'm if... going to grab. I'm going to grab. So I'm up two right now. So I'll I'll go one. Got yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Two. Got it. Got it. Okay. Oops. Nice. Right. Oh, I missed. Then hey, good. three to hang out with Harvey. And my fourth action, I'll just go at. Uh, Evens. All right. Why not? You want, you want an icon? Yeah. I can throw you one. If you're just throwing them away, I'll take it. Here, here's one icon. All right. I'm at plus one. 
Down by two. Okay, hold on a sec. Um, I'm going... You know what? I think I'm just going to be fine with that. Okay. Because okay. live and learn is more fun when I've got all my actions available. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Oh, my, yeah, yeah. My good and that buddy, was a fine journey. That Nathaniel fine. Cho is coming out. I'm going to move up. And I'm going to gain a dollar because I know how this deck plays. Okay. All right. That's you, that. You just take the actions? You moved and got a resource? And threw out uh, my, my brother. Oh, okay. Got some more soap great, now. This is a great enemies. place to bring, bring Enemy, brother no and enemies. Enemies. Take a dollar, draw a card. Look what I found. Well, that could be helpful. Oh, my goodness. I need an enemy soon, guys. <laughs> I'm bursting <laughs> at the seams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me go and uh, put our second Doom down. Go ahead and uh, draw your bad card, Jesse. Who we get? Obscuring Fog. Uh, that, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Five Shroud now. I don't like that. Spirit's Torment. Aw. Uh, Huh. I don't like that card. Okay. All right. Oops. I forgot to take it with me. Okay. And a corpse dweller. Yay! It Wait, just nope. gained surge instead. <laughs> oh no! Why? Because there's uh, the corpse dweller appears at a humanoid location, but there are no humanoids. Oh, that's left. right. That's right. So I get the shadow behind me. All right. Well. At least that one doesn't hurt, bother me this turn because I'm not doing anything. I'm a little worried that I'm going to get mauled by a whole bunch of enemies all at once, though, if they're yeah, all matched up. That's kind of what I was wondering myself. Well, um, all right, so here we are, guys. Hey, Catherine. Catherine. Hey, Catherine. Hey, oh, Catherine. no, you weren't able to. She wasn't able to get these three investigators because they were sold out. Yeah. Oof. It's crazy how fast these ones went. Um, Let's get to... Should we send Harvey against the fog? Well, I'm not. Um, I'm yeah, not I've doing got... anything this turn. Actually, how many total I... clues do we have? Uh, I have one. You have two. Okay. Um. So we could just because Mike, you and I can, you and I can open up this one, and I have the look, the leveled up look what I found that can find clues at connecting as well. So like. Okay. Just be aware that spirits can... torment exists. So, so here well, we got to get go out of there at some point, right? Yeah. Let me but... go first, so I can I can take care of obscuring fog, okay. and then with the clue cool I get, I can put it back down and take care of spirits from it. So I'll leave you guys free, okay? Okay. Love it. So, okay. So here's here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually I'm actually gonna play higher education, uh, which is weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've really used my higher education before. Um, <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to investigate. I'm at five on five, so I'm going to spend my resources to put me three up. Yeah. Oh, I have to have five or more cards in hand. Never mind. I forgot. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Where's all your cards, Harvey? I've been letting you guys draw them. <laughs> That's why. Uh, um, okay. Well, I can just, I can take a draw action, actually. Yeah. Um, that'll put me at five. But then you got to play it. Right. And then yeah, you'll be then, at four. If you, if you don't fail by too much, Harvey, good things can happen. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me go, let me just go ahead and try and investigate. I'll, I'll pitch higher education. It's That's fine. not just for you? Nope. No. Oh, my it's goodness. So amazing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, level Stella, up lucky. Stella is the exact kind of character I always love to play, which is like full-on support. Holy yeah, moly. So I'll so, by one on this what? gate. Well, I'm within three. 
Well, that's the exact kind of time you play lucky. All right. Go ahead and draw a card as well. Okay, so I'm gonna obscuring fog card. gets discarded. Oh, 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 I, ac I actually got cryptic writings in an actual draw. That's amazing. <laughs> Uh, um, Catherine, yeah. I guess you haven't seen our earlier playthroughs. In our last play, she was lamenting how uh, she always draws astounding revelation, never searches to find it. Well, in this campaign, Harvey has never drawn cryptic writings in his turn except now. So, yeah. right. so, so yeah. I'm going to pass down a clue, get rid of Spirit's Torment. I got a second action. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, and and then my third action, I'll go ahead and investigate. And you know what? Wait, isn't this Damn your fourth it. action then? I, I investigated for the first action. I put down a clue for the second. Oh, right, right, right. You didn't do the other. That's right. And then I'm going to investigate and throw deduction here. So I'm three up. Oh, yeah. Two clues. All right. Nice. Cool. If you don't mind, I'm going to stay behind and look at these bone-filled caverns. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> uh, Mike, should we spend ours? Uh, yeah, okay, I'll spend mine. Oh, two. I had a clue. Two clues. All right, so I'm going to flip this one. Uh oh. Ignore the text on unrevealed locations adjacent to Stone Archway. That's, That's cool. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to move the entire map over. Okay. It's, it's very obvious which direction this map is going. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically it costs you zero clues to move from here to the next location. Put the topmost to the right. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to go all the way over here then. Yep. For freeze. <laughs> oh, oh wow. this is not good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because uh, now we skulls are now minus four out there. Okay, um, you can always come back if you want. Well, how many things have I done right now? I'm actually right here, right? Yeah, I've done two things. Uh, this is a weird map. Yeah, you know I what? Didn't... I'm gonna go. I'm going to go the distance and just research. Okay. What did I find? A pillar, right, of bones. Well. a pillar of bones dominates the center of the circular chamber. Several dark passages lead in multiple directions. Okay. I am going to put... What did you just do? Um, I uh, just moved those around. What was the last card you pulled? Was it that one? Okay. I'm going to put a clue here. That's to designate that that is a possible location that we want to find. The other two we know are not yes. what we want. Okay. I, I thought here might be better than... Oh, here. yeah. Good. Thank you. Good thinking. Yeah. Why do we... Why do we because because that... we're able to... We want it because to wrap this around. Can enable us to... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, we need uh, some clues over here. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's sorry, I found that you were able to generate them very quickly. So I think I've done all three of my actions just flying over here. Well, that puts me in a spot. I don't want Harvey to draw an enemy and me to be all the way over there. Don't worry about me. I got a gun. Well, I have, I have the Cryptonomicon. I, I the Necronomicon. The, uh, oh, I, I can deal three damage to an enemy. Oh, okay, you're oh. good then. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> that old man okay. can take care of himself apparently <laughs> yep. alright uh, enemy phase no enemies upkeep oh, take yeah. a dollar draw a card oh uh, that is not an actual That's I got another drew a miskatonic um, archaeology funding so oh, yeah. there we go Okay. That's good. How many, that how many total clues do we have, gentlemen? I have zero. I have zero. I have two. Okay. Because I want to at least open the door somewhere. Yeah. So my look, so my look what I found is a little stronger. 
Yeah. Head south. Yep. All we'll right. Do. Harvey, your bad card. All righty. Let's see what we get. There. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> it's the monster you were worried to get. Okay, draw your corpse dweller now. Nearest unrevealed location. Yeah, I think that's well, a good idea. Hey, we got a ghoul minion. Oh, I didn't do my shadow ball. Oh, sorry, I meant to do that, guys. I'm going to stand back one. Okay. Doi. You got a ghoul, too. <sighs> I meant to look behind me. Well, you didn't. Yeah, well, live and learn. Asterisk. Asterisk. All right. Mm. Okay. So. So. Um, I don't think I need to go first. Harvey, you good? Yeah, I was looking at what um, what I want to do with this. I think Harvey goes first. Yeah. If I, I, I have evade him, I don't want to stay here, which is fine. But because um, I can just move out, and then you can go run in and take him next turn. Um, Four clues. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm just going to evade. I'm going to get... Um, Is there any way to get one more clue? Yeah. I mean, I guess I can do it where I am. I can get one more clue. Uh, but well, it would have to be... You have to spend the clues to move into it, though. No, it's as a group. I thought it's as a group. I know it's at your location. Oh! Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Never mind then. Never mind. Um, so okay, uh, I am going to evade. What do we have in the bag? We got a minus three and a minus four, right? Skulls are yep. what for you? Minus one for you. Okay. All right, so I'll spend one secret to give myself a plus two. So I'm four ability. I'm gonna evade. Evaded. And they don't hunt, right? Nope. Oh, they say they're waiting to be dwellers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are they humanoids? They are humanoids. Okay. They are humanoids. Oh, oh yeah. and by the way, the the man in the pallid mask is not humanoid. Considered humanoid for purposes of corpse dweller. He is not, or is uh, as per the errata in the return to box. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to investigate it two up. Oh, uh, draw two cards. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got uh, three clues now. And I then, took it off. Um, oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. And nice. then I am going to move out. Okay. Uh, yep, that's my turn. Go ahead, Joe. I know you've been itching to beat something up since we got in here. Yeah. Are you going to investigate, though? I will. Because if you investigate, you should go first. Okay. It'll give me a chance to get in there and take on that docent. Oh, okay. but, yeah. Yeah. I really wish my will to survive was um, the leveled up one. Said <laughs> <laughs> um, every survivor okay, ever. Said, yeah, right. I'm going to just go uh, blind on this one. I am even with it. Oh. Yik. Ha ha, you passed. You know, joke's on me. <laughs> I will do it. I'll do it again. That's, ain't that how it always is? There you go. Now, if, only, right. if only I had... What's your face? Oh, no. I will spend two dollars to look what I found, which gives me a total of three clues. Um, Jeez. 
I have failed to clue a thing, so I have two more actions, actually. What'd you fail? Um, I failed that, so I had to oh, look yeah, what yeah. I found. That's right. Don't wait. Yeah. Now, do you guys want me to stay here and like keep trying to get clues? Because I have another way of getting at least another one, probably. It's up to you, because I, like, I'm going to or... punch my guy and then move and take on that docent. So, so you need me to reveal that then right now? No, you don't have to. I can walk into it and reveal it, because you're at that location. I right, can, I can but I mean, clues. right. It's not an action for me to do it, though, right? No, it'd be my action. But it's not an action for anybody to do it, is it? Oh, it's the move action. It's the move, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you want, to stay, if you want to stay there and grab clues, by all means, we're gonna need them. Well, don't you need more time to punch this guy, or do you want to get hit by him first? Doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't. Wow. I've got my brother in play, so I'm actually feeling pretty. Uh, does this guy do brain damage? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'll just stay here and get clues then. Okay, do it. Plus, I've got a mono a mono in hand, and I'm kind of hoping he gets eaten by a corpse dweller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm at zero again for my third or fourth actions. Failed by one. <sighs> All right, I'm going to go again. Minus, like, four. All right, this one I'm going to live and learn. So I'm up two. Oh! Uh, oops. Mm. Sorry, sorry, guys. One, two, that's right. yeah. That's I got my three four. things. All I right. got three clues, which was my goal. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to clean them out. Two dollars... I fight this thing. I'm up by like five. <laughs> and that does two damage because it's a fight on an event card. Nice. And boxing gloves? Oh, right. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even know his own stuff. He's so good. Well, it's obviously going to be counterpunch because I know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one, let's break this open. Hold on, you have to ask me to spend my clues first, Mike. Hey, Stella, awesome post-woman Stella with a grandma holding a gun and a black raven who's been doing yeah. more than the rest of us this game. I ain't got, I ain't got no grandma. <laughs> please, All please, right. Stella, may I have some clues? Yes, but you have to read it. Skulls and bones decorate the walls of this wide hallway in a macabre fashion. Da -da -da. Okay. I wonder if the uh, the fashion guru is going to make her appearance. Two more shadows. Bum, there it bum, is. Bum. We found it. Well, the, oh, actually, this is probably not the order we wanted to find them in. But here we go. Advance <laughs> to Act One B. All right, that's Jesse's reading that. Yep. Uh, here I got some. Fancy dancing clues here. Boom. Uh, all right. Uh, rows of skulls chatter their teeth endlessly as you pass through a narrow stone archway into a round chamber illuminated by firelight. In the center of the tomb stands the stranger, peering into the blaze. Across the wall, shadows dance and twist with a flickering of the flame. The stranger turns to face you, and his own shadow spreads across the wall. Where his shadow's arms should be, Tentacle shapes emerge, envelop enveloping the walls in darkness. He lifts his hands toward the wall, as if trying to show you something. Spawn and set aside the man in the pallid mask weakness in the Tomb of Shadows instead of his normal spawn location. Check campaign log. If Ishimaru Haruko is not listed under VIP Slain, search the collection for Ishimaru Haruko, just skin and bones, and spawn her at the starting location. So is she listed as one of the VIP Slain? No. Nope. Nope. Doesn't this dress look gorgeous on me? <laughs> oh, Not look off. at that. And uh, Nathaniel's busy at the moment, so he's still aloof. Okay. Uh, the well, man, the man. The man's just trying to show you something, dude. He's harmless. Well, the man in the pallid mask is at the Tomb of Shadows. He gets plus one health per investigator and cannot be defeated. And there is another note here that says he cannot leave the Tomb of Shadows in Act 2. So, no Speaking of, Act two. Ah. Speaking of Act 2, what do we got? Oh, yes. 
Um, we have Act 2, The Path is Barred. The shadows cast along the bone walls shift into the shapes of several figures, acting out a macabre parody of The King in Yellow. Objective. Tell us how to stop the path from opening. If the man in the pallid mask is defeated, advance. Objective. What is he trying to show us? Investigators in the Tomb of Shadows must spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Two clues per investigator. So, six clues. Uh, yeah. He's got... Number of clues. I, um... We got this. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got this. Okay. Um, I'll tell you, let me head towards you guys. Help with the Tomb of Shadows. And then we can take care of the, uh... Um, Oh my goodness. You know what? This is going to be... Okay, yeah. You're going to have to run because you have an Ishimaru on your tail. Yep. I'm going to have to intercept her at some point. Uh, I think we're... This didn't open up anything. So we're probably going to have to try our luck up top Mm. with the catacombs. Okay. Mm. Uh, Monster phase... She hunts. He readies. He readies. The guy attacks you, Mike, that I put on you already. Oh, so you did. So my brother will take that horror, and I will counterpunch. Boom, boom. Oh, I don't get his... I miscalculated. I actually don't get his bonus. Whose bonus? bonus? I don't get my fight bonus because I've already used it this turn. That's okay. That is okay. I still, still punch him. I still punch him for one. Nothing wrong with punching someone for one. Nope. This is all good. All right. Now we upkeep. Take a dollar, draw a card. Mm, no, I. Do I do that? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Okay. okay I got to start using. Gret Fogna, what do you got here? Another Four. Roll to <laughs> Four Doom. Go ahead, Jesse. Okay. You're asking hands, mm. not your favorite skill test. Ah, but the Woodchuck's Guidebook, it says here in the Woodchuck's Guidebook that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, this way to defeat Grasping Hands. Is to smack him with a book. I'm going to get plus two, so I'm at four on three. And, uh... Pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, you're right, Catherine. I oh. could have vicious blowed. Uh... All right, I take two damage. I decided, but you didn't, Mike. I didn't, and I, I didn't... I did think about it, and I decided not to, because I want to, uh... Ishimaru's right. tomorrow's got a six fight, so I kind of want all the boost I can get. That was my reasoning. Sure. We'll see if that was a bad idea. I've got a docent on my... Well... Uh... I've got a docent. Oh, a different kind of docent. Okay. That's me. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, Nathaniel, I have some... Uh, oh. oh, well. I might just be taking that damage. You can't leave? I can leave. Uh, one. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Um, no, uh, uh, I, I have some encyclopedias that might help you if you need to fight Ishimaru. That's awesome. You know what? I'm probably taking the damage. Actually, you guys mind if I put the docent here? Yeah. Okay. I don't know that it really matters, but I'm going north. Okay. Well, now I'm saying yeah, I should have used the vicious blow. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so who's going first? So Harvey, if you could get to me and open a pathway, that'd be great. Sure. And you know what? I can grab some clues while doing it because I'm going to go zap, 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 and uh, I'm gonna because we're not heading back here. I don't think to escape through the secret passage, right? Oh yeah, get us uh, get us some victory points. Yeah. Yep. So I'm gonna kind of grab this clue from afar for no actions. Your book um, is telling you about Bonefield Caverns. I don't think you should be reading that book. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, so action one, action two. Now, are you gonna 
be able to take care of this. Well, he's only one horror. I guess that's not terrible. Um, um, I'm going to try to shoot him. Oh, good lord. I'm not going to even need the vicious blow for Ishimaru. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> Wait, are you going up there, Harvey? Me, you, oh, you just want me to hang out here. That's fine. Okay. Well, if you could open it, I mean, if you want to go there, he's going to engage you, and then I'm going to have to maybe accidentally shoot you. No, 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 that's Which, fine. I, you know, I, fair is fair. Okay. Uh, for those who remember our first adventure, uh, Harvey called down the occult spirits and smacked Stella in the face for three. It was great. I haven't. I'm not going to say I, I haven't been kind of itching to shoot him in the back accidentally, but uh... okay. So I'm going to put Witten Green. Uh, so oh, she's this so might good. be cool. Yep. Um, especially in this build, I've got. Two docents and two encyclopedias in my hand. I think we'll be okay. So you are currently a plus one will, plus one book. And you get to search for and a tomb actually, or a relic every time you open the location. Yeah, seems pretty good in this. Uh... Yeah. If I use your clues to reveal a location, does that trigger her? No. It only happens if a new location is put into play or oh. Harvey reveals the location. Yeah. But that hey, happens. That's going to happen. Don't worry about it. I have almost all my tomes in hand, so okay. it's not a big deal. Okay. But he is going to keep revealing the new location. There you go. Here's three clues if you want to reveal it. I do. Go nuts. I am nuts. The candlelit tunnels. Put the top two catacombs into play to the left and to the right of the candlelit tunnels. Okay. Oh, to the left. That's good. We want to go... But one of them might be might be the one we're going to. So right, wait, this is the one with the errata, right? Sorry? The lit tunnels, if you succeed, look at the revealed side of any location in play. Uh, oh, okay, any location. Oh, oh yeah, any... yeah. Look at the unrevealed side of any catacombs location. Why would you want to do that? No, of course not. I see. Yeah. Wow. I did, this is the first time I even caught that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we knew what it meant. Yeah. You know, but uh, yeah. Funny. Okay. Okay, Daniel. What it really means revealed side, right? Yeah. Okay, because I'm looking at all the unrevealed sides right now. Yeah. Nope. There was all a right. lot. Of, we're all good. So, my first action was to move there. My second action will be to shoot a gun at a docent, which seems, sa I mean, kind of sad. It looks like I'm shooting Harvey in a way. <laughs> Does that fulfill yeah. your desires? All right. So he is a three. I am a three. My five. gun makes me yeah. a five. Um, and I'm just going to play oops to be up for. Okay. That is one less docent in the world. Nice. Hey, I like these new guns. Okay. Yeah, I am now I'm now though. Dude, do you guys how bad do you want to know about a location? Uh I mean it would it would tell us whether or not we even want to go right. You want yeah, me to check that's true. you want me to check the right? Yeah. You're talking this one, right? Yeah. All right, I'll do what I can. Um, right now, I'm down one on it. Okay. Um, what do I have? And you're still... Uh, yeah, skulls are minus five from where you are. They're minus five where I am, which is actually really bad. I mean, that I can means... neither rain nor snow it. He's a three... Yeah. Seven? Ugh. You know what I could conceivably do is I was thinking maybe I could wait a turn to play Will to Survive and just do it. Since you guys aren't coming up here anyway, right? Not for another turn. Well So why don't I grab why don't I grab a dollar then? Sure. I didn't fail anything, so that's my last action. Okay. Harvey, you're done, right? Yep. All right, I'm going to pitch Greta to a test, so I'm up by five. Just punching. You dead. 
and I will engage the man in the pallet mask. So once again, we're not interested in, you know, learning. We just want to punch. Pretty much, yeah. Yep. Why? <laughs> I'm starting to worry about our friend Nathaniel, Harvey. What are you talking about? What are you talking I feel about? like you've got some demons. Uh, <laughs> okay, so how many extra stuff does he have? Mike, is this supposed to be discarded? She's, he's got plus one for investigators. He's got six health. Mike, your counter punch is discarded, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, he's got six health, hey? <laughs> that's it? Yeah. They were simpler times. So that's going to deal three. <laughs> Good lord, yeah. I'm just going to Monster Slayer. And I'll pitch a vicious blow. Because I need to do be up by five. Okay. Yes. Three kind of a waste of the vicious blow, but I needed the punch. And I didn't want to spoil it. So that's actually four damage. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. And uh, that's it. I'm going to take three damage just by sitting here. Okay. The pit below is now gone. Okay, it is monster phase. Uh, I get hit. And she walks. Is that it? Uh, Randall Cho takes another horror from our friend. Okay. That's it. And it's up key. Okay. Granny Orn? Yes. Who? What? She's back! And it's she lives? One. She's a tough old bird, you know. And, and you have the you have the resources oh. to play. I didn't trigger my boxing gloves. I should have. I, I do that. have the resources to play it, but then I can't will to survive to figure out the thing. Uh, well, Granny Orn uh, can help you with that, too. That's true. Because she gives you plus one willpower to investigate, and you can add one and to your skills. Yep. Yeah. It's, she's good. No, she'll be coming out. I've got to get rid of my chicken, though. We're at five of six, right? No, oh, yep. Did you do it? Thanks. Yeah, I just did. All right, here we go. Bad stuff. Ooh, goo. Okay. Right. Ooh, goo. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> oh, that bloody thing. I'm glad you have oh, it. No. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Another pit below. This time so I like, gotta move. Well, you can get out this time, though, right? Okay, I think, yeah. This I think this time hey, I'm going first. Harvey, do you have spells and stuff that relic damage and all that for this poltergeist? I have two of them in my deck. Yeah. yeah. Well, but... doesn't your Necronomicon kill it? It's an item in the tome, but not a relic. Not a relic. Wait, if Harvey punches it, that would do it, right? Because he's a relic. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that joke should get one swing. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, if nothing else, you can come and talk to it, right? Let me go first then and free him uh, up. Because he's a little busy okay. at the moment. Okay, first turn, mano a mano. Goodbye, man in the pallet mask. So we advance, so everything stops. And also, uh, we need to mark one more for chasing the stranger. So we're for five. Yes, we are. Uh, okay. Tell so us how to stop we... the path through opening. Oh, we, we have to... Uh, um... What? We have to spend the clues, though, right? No, if he's defeated, we can advance to you. Uh, if the man in the pallet mask was defeated, the stranger drops to one knee, visibly wounded. Your knuckles whiten with anger, and you shout, We know about Carcosa and Hastur. Now tell one us how to whore. stop this man. One horn. Oh, no. <laughs> Jesse had to take it. Yeah. Oh, that's your, that's your second time doing it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, you know, once, when, here, I'll give it to Witten. Once once we get to um, Tim Carcosa, uh, uh, you'll be, I'll be laughing. Uh 
you want to say it. Um, uh, now tell us how to stop this madness. The stranger digs his fingers into the cold stone floor and the catacombs shake. Mark two conviction in your campaign log and remove the van and the pallet mask from the game. Wow. Uh, so then we add, advance to Act 3A. 3A, so, the way out. Yep, that's this one. Yes. Okay. The way out. Or, uh, okay, yes, the way out. Uh, Act 3A, the way out. Bones rattle to the floor, dislodged by the shaking and crumbling of the caverns around you. The stranger grabs the skull from within the flames in the center of the chamber and flees. Forced, at the end of the round, if the gates, uh, gate to hell is in play, discard the location that is farthest from the gate to hell. Move each investigator an enemy that was at that location to a connecting location and deal two damage to each of them. Objective, if each undefeated investigator is at the gate to hell, advance. Oh, so we do get to have to go back to the gate to hell. That's the one we got. Okay, new plan. Uh, okay, this is Mine the one is that's going to go, right? New plan. Run. This one is going to go. Oh, well, I'm going to top. I'm right. going to be grabbing. Yep. This one I'm going to try grabbing. Yeah, I think this one goes, and then we'd have a choice of, I think, this one next. Yeah. Right? So the Pipolo is here okay. this turn, so you don't want to be there. Yeah, but next turn, I can go in and try to grab some clues. I'm going to use some this is, Yeah, the first power. one to go, right? Yeah. And then yeah. it's one of these. Okay. Yes. I think we should get out of here. Okay. My second action, I move up. Uh, I'm one shy. Just punch it. But then you can't deal damage to him, can you? Uh, no. I does it make sense for? Him. I'm just does doing it make sense for Cho to just grab him. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab him. Harvey needs to be free to move and do his stuff. Okay. Harvey, can you talk to this poltergeist? Yeah. I think. Actually, what if I bring him down to you? I mean, well, then I can't play Granny Orange. Yeah, I mean, I can do. I need Granny Orange anymore. Yes, it'll be helpful. Like she's she's all around helpful. Uh, well, we don't need clues anymore, right? We just. Well, we, we're going to get... Uh, but she also gives you some sanity soap. She gives us some willpower sanity. And uh, the, the ability can be used by any investigator at a location. That yeah. could be important. Okay. Uh, so you don't even have uh, to engage it. Yeah. So I have to move, engage, and then uh, talk to the culture guys. But I'd have to do it... I do you do have it. to engage it to parlay it? No, I don't. Nope. It's an action that anyone can do. Yeah, here, let me help you out then. I will move. I will parlay. Do you need some? Uh, do you need some things for me? I'm three up. Uh, All right. Uh, you want to be five up in this one because you're five locations away. That's all right. Here we go. Murder you. Extensive research. I'm five up. Okay, because I also have uh, neither rain nor shine. Or okay. Or whatever. All right, go. I think I'm good. Uh, all right. Uh, again, zero. Okay, so that's one damage, and then I will parlay again, and I don't want to pitch any of these, but you know what? I can give myself... I want to give myself plus two here. You said you could give me something, right? I will give you three more. Okay. And I can do that. All right, it's zero again, of course. All right, so... Of it's... I won't miss the other ghost. Nice. All right. Okay, Stella. Now, you don't need us to look at any other catacombs anymore, do you? No, we just got to get out of here. Yeah, we're just going to grab some. There are two clues here. Uh, and then there are some clues here, uh, which we might be able to get, maybe. First thing, I'm going to take a fast action to uh, get rid of my chicken and grab a clue. Take a horror mm -hmm. for that. Then I'll spend $4. I'll be like, hey, Granny Orn. How did you get down here? <laughs> um, that's two. A little... You've been in Paris this whole time? We were looking all over for you. <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. Yeah. Uh, then I'm going to actually just try to grab a clue from here. I don't want to leave you, Harvey, just in case bad spawning happens. Hey, if you you uh, if you investigate, you can, uh, you can draw two clues, two cards. I can? 
to investigate. Yep. But I have to win, right? Yeah. Yeah. You just successfully right. well, investigate. I am currently tied. So okay. that's it. And I have no way to bump myself. If you have a way, then that'd be great. Um, if not, I, I use my last. I think since you're with me, I'll use my last Necronomicon. Can I do that? I get plus okay. two. So I'm at plus no, two. I, I'm at plus two. No, it won't it work. work. I, it only get works on me. Oh, okay. Um, do you have cards to pitch or no? Yeah, I think you can throw higher education for one. Um, okay. The other I'm one. At, I'm at plus one. The other ones I'm going to need for um, to grab these clues. Okay. I'm at plus one. Yep. Oh, that's a loss. Hey, look. Oh. I'm going to do it again. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. But now I'm just e even, though. There's no penalty for failing and investigate. Granny Orn. Saves well, the game. Yep. So and you pass instead. Get a clue. I took one off. I took one off. Or oh, did you? Okay. You've already and got I that clue. Two. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, uh, and then you can draw two cards. Dude, let me get Courtesy. let me get as many weaknesses as I can here now that we need to get out. Nope. A rabbit foot and a lucky. Hey. Oh my goodness. Not bad. Okay. That is me. All right. That is all three of us. Okay. Monsters, someone's okay. hunting. Randall Cho gets defeated. Yeah. And is she closer? Get the logos. Why is Randall Cho defeated? Because I have a ghoul engaged with me. Oh. So I will counter punch and I am we... Yeah. Zero, I am triggering the plus one. Okay. So that kills nice. the ghoul. Alright. Now You do box if you want. Right, I will. Dude, I got another neither rain nor snow. Uh, take your dial and your card, gentlemen, and then everybody meet me up top as Mike reads us the next agenda. Okay, just gotta do my spirit stuff. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I like you. Okay, we're good. All right. Oh, this back. you know, Mike. Speaking of that noise you just make made. You haven't gone into the tickle trunk very much this campaign. No, I. Do you know what was hiding in the tickle trunk? What? A lovely Ishimaru Haruko. <laughs> uh, no. She's. That's perfect. All right, yeah. here we go. Read that back. What do we got? Specter of oh. Death. What? It starts. You got at... CVP there. The starting location fifteen. Oh, okay, that changes the cards I want to play now. Hunter, retaliate. While it's exhausted, it takes one less damage from each attack made against it. After you fail a skill test while attempting to... Okay, so it has uh, alert, basically. Okay. And it's at the starting location. I for... I knew there was another monster. I just forgot what it was. All right, they Empire. Really, they really don't want us to get out of here. No. We just have to be there, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Empire of the Undead. All around you, the eyes and skulls glow with... an otherworldly hue. A ghostly voice echoes throughout the labyrinthine catacombs. You sense a threatening presence looming around you. It is just outside your vision, past the dim fog that permeates through the catacombs, around every corner. Bum -ba so, did we just do the thing we needed to do quickly? Is that why? Because 12 seems like a long time. Yeah. We, yes, we did very quickly. It was okay. as fast as we could possibly do it. And the, pallet, the, the man of the pallet mass is like the thing you're supposed to do, right? Find yep. him? Yep. Okay. So and we just we, got lucky we, in the location, right? Yep. Like, okay. Nathaniel can hold off the uh, the monsters coming towards us, and we can tr basically we just need to clear this and clear this on our way out. And I think, and then I think Nathaniel could probably take care of the specter of death. First I things first. That as well. Let's okay, uh, fine. plans all good plans go awry in the mythos phase. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well. well, I'm glad I'm not up there. Oh man! If draw? Um, oh no! What ha would happen if we have to put a clue on this non-VP location? <laughs> All right, Daniel, what have you got? <laughs> and your granny orange should be ready, I believe. Yeah, of course, Okay. Is there anything for him? 
yeah. here. So but Daniel is uh, running the gauntlet. Hunt? Oh, he does hunt. Okay, this is yeah, this is really a gauntlet. Uh, <laughs> they're actually making it really hard for me to to the have dual the minion cards. is discarded, right? Yeah, yeah. They're making it really hard for me to have the cards to deal with the the specter of death. Now, um, I, mean, I could I can slug it out with Ishimaru if you not want to go, Mike. Um, remember, I have some encyclopedias I'm about to put down that might help you out a little bit. It's the damage output I'm worried about. Yeah, I know. Well, we've got. All right, but do you, do you want me to hang with Ishimaru? She's got a six attack. I I know. I mean, I can I can also just kind of jump past her. I'm okay with that. She doesn't. She's not worth anything. She really isn't. Yeah, she isn't. Yeah, you can just evade her. That's what I always well, do. Mike, did you draw a card yet? We're getting ahead of ourselves. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> Wait, no, I did not. Ah, oh, oh, bloody look behind you. Uh, I have to get rid of that. This is not the time to draw look behind you. Yeah, that card is boy that eats into your actions. Um, okay, well, I'm going. Um, I'm going last. If if Stella wants to go first, why I don't I run I'll... first and engage Ishimaru and then get and then try to. Uh... Uh, the reason you don't do that is because of Spirit's Torment, unless you're okay well, taking a horror. I'm okay taking a horror. Okay. Yeah, or yeah. Harvey goes horror. first and drops a clue. Or, or, actually, I don't know if we even need to waste time on that. Like, okay. I can take a horror, no problem. Okay. It looks like Granny Orn was born to take a bunch of horror, actually. All right. Yeah, I know. I was like, we'll just, we'll just each take a horror, no big deal. So Granny Orn uh, takes a horror. I'll go first, Jesse. Okay. And I'll go one, two. Ishimaru comes to hang out with me, but I'll leave her there for a second. Then I am up one already, right? Mm -hmm. So let's make that three, four. Up four. Boom, you got it. Okay. Minus okay. two. Hang on, hang on. What did you just do? I evaded her. Okay, so evasion was fine. I don't think that does anything yeah. to evade. Yeah. So I'm done, and she'll wake up and hang out with me, but I think that's okay. Yeah, I don't that's need fine. Nathaniel to run past me, right? Well, okay. I first I look, I look behind myself, first of all. Hey, yeah. uh, are you going to be punching anything this turn? Yeah, I guess you can't reach it, can you? Because of look behind you, I can't. I don't okay. want to be on top of that corpse dweller. He does a lot. Yeah, he, he's scary. Well, I was thinking about encyclopedia, but that's fine. Um, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just going to sit here. Okay. And uh, draw a card. Is it just me, or do we wish the catacombs were a little bit differently situated that we can run around things? <laughs> we yeah. tried. I'm gonna move here. I'll take a horror, and then because um, there's like uh, a way then... to the door, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I've that's, never not, seen it not... like this ever. This is so neat. Oh, guys, did we forget to obliterate a location? Yes, this one's gone. Okay, Harvey, I don't think you're gonna uh, have time I'm... to do that. Harvey, let's get. The I hell have. Out of here. Oh yeah, you will. I've got a lot of. Yeah, I have a lot of, yeah, yeah, of dosen in the encyclopedias. So you have two more turns to do it. Yep, I'm going to... Hang spend... on, hang on. If that location what? is destroyed, do we get the victory? No. Then why are we even oh. bothering? Oh, I mean, oh, shoot. Then we can't get it, can we? I would imagine we don't get it, right? We get two clues. Let's see, hold on. One, two, three, and then maybe... Yep. We have to, yeah. We have to like be gone. Like, I don't know if we can make it out before then. There, we, um, it's because of Specter of Death. Like, it's worth more to take out Specter of Death than it is to take that location. Yeah, Jesse, get out of there. Pretend you didn't go there. Come, you come gone? hang with us. Come hang with us. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can. We'll try to get the and other then, two uh, off Thornfield Cavern. 
Watch, I'm going to draw Tommy Malloy, and then everything's going to go to hell. <laughs> well, now that you're not sure about that. That's a, and then I'm going to uh, throw out a uh, library docent. And I can use this extra secret. So we're going to throw that down, throw an encyclopedia down, the library docent, and then I think that's my last action. Um, okay. That's all of us, right? Yep. All right, enemy phase. So now I can take the PDF for you guys. Uh, I will take Ishimaru. Okay, Corpse Dweller moves. Spectre of Death moves. Man, I'm so used to playing two-player. <laughs> 15 health! Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can help you now. Um, I can deal three damage. Pop. Well, I can deal I, three damage. Yeah. Okay, the Spectre gonna, of Death gonna... is the person we want to hit. The I'm gonna run. Nothing. Uh, I'm gonna run towards. I'm gonna try to ditch this Ishimaru and then just shoot things that matter. Okay. Down well, the road. Um, okay. Draw your cards. Well, hold on. We gotta. We gotta yeah. We gotta upkeep. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta class move on this. All right. There it is. Called by the miss. <laughs> All right. Um, and then we get one doom, right? Like 12? Yep. I think we got yep. so much time. Uh, I guess that's not the real ticking time bomb here. That might not be the Oh, <laughs> that's the problem. best card ever. I don't think our problem is time. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's not time. Oh, this is, uh, this catacombs is now destroyed. Right? Yep. Yep. Boom. Yep. Boom. Where are you putting them? Up top? I just threw them up top, kind of, yeah. Upside down? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean well, to put it upside down, but that's the nice I put it right there before I think. The nice advantage for this long run out is that like uh I guess it's it almost gives us more time because we've got more locations over here. Oh uh, right. so Jesse started drawing bad cards? Yeah, Stella, you're up. Okay. Yep, I, I got obscuring mist. I drew a docent. Nearest unrevealed location. Oh, shoot. Right there. I think he's about to get destroyed. Pretty oh, it's here, right? Hey, that, uh, I like these draws so far. Uh, grasping hands. That's a fleetness test. Do I have anything for that? I'm with you, and if it's a disaster and you really need something, I got something for you. Okay. Uh... Oh, yeah, I do. Um, it's the damage I don't want to take because I potentially tanking. No, I understand. Yeah. Like I said, if you don't draw a plus one, oh, God. Like, that's bad, right? That That's really bad. So yeah. even lucky doesn't matter there, right? No. Uh, no. Only it's, I've it's had just words. Fail. It's just auto-fail, baby. We have no way to heal, I don't think, in our decks. Okay, that changes a lot. I don't think you should have drawn the auto fail. Yeah, that that was probably a bad strategy. Okay. I feel that was, I feel that was a mistake. Wait, Mike. you have healing in your deck, right, Mike? Somewhere. Do I? Flesh ward or something, right? Oh yeah, I don't know where it's that not, is. It's pre healing. It's prevention. Pre healing, yeah. All right. Well, pre healing I, is good right now. I am going to go first, if you don't mind. Yeah, if you let me go first, I can give you my encyclopedia knowledge. Are you going to move, though? Plus two. Um, plus two on combat. Uh, no, I'm not okay. moving in there. All right, I'll wait. I'll wait for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, here, let me give you plus two on combat for the turn. With Thank my you. Uh, and then I'm going to spend, I guess, two to put this stupid thing out. Um, <laughs> Can you heal our boxer friend? Uh, unfortunately, no. And then three to get a uh, Necronomicon out again. So, um, all right. Unfortunately, this does not do anything. Um, I'm going to save these charges just in case we need them, but um, I can um, grab oh, those yeah. last two clues out there in, in, if we need. Um, all right. So, are you done, Harvey? I'm done. All right, I'll follow you, Nathaniel. After I run out, I'm. You know, you're gonna have Ishimaru on you next, right? 
Oh, shoot, I am. No, Harvey is. What's your evade? Three? Is there a way you can ditch her? Ditch her, but I could probably get around her. Are you sure? Uh, can you deal one damage to her? Can you deal one damage to her? Not really. I mean... I don't think we should be wasting try. our damage on Ishimaru. I don't either. Yeah. She's um, a six can, fight, might, guys. I, don't even. Don't even. Probably a Vader, but... Uh, well, good luck. Maybe. Go ahead, one, one try on it, so it's fine. Right. I need to figure out what Nathaniel's doing with this corpse dweller. Uh, get over here. Oh. Nice. I punch it. Oh, that that's changed some things. Okay. So that is a uh, one, two. Oh, yeah, I, I definitely pass because of my bonus. So that's done two damage to him. Okay. No, nope, I gotta do it. Just doing it. One two punch. I need I need you know what? I needed this against the other guy. I really did. Mm-hmm. But I don't have the ability to tank damage anymore. So he's auto killed. Okay. Well that's good. That's uh, pretty nice. It is. What's the plan with Spectre of Death? Um, um... It's I can evade, evade, evade and run. I can deal it three damage. You could um, evade, can you evade it? Why not? This turn? It's only, it's only three. No, not this turn, but we let him take one step towards us and then GTFO. Um Okay, so with my charges on the Necronomicon, I can get those two clues, or I can uh I can deal three damage with four secrets, or I can boost myself. So we can try to evade it, and then just... Well, yeah, well, hold on. Let's, let's finish this round. I mean, it's not an issue right this minute. Nathaniel, are you done? I have one more ter one more action, so I'm wondering if I should move ahead one or not. Well, he'll hunt you. Yeah. You don't want to move ahead. I just want to stay here. You want to take a drink a healing potion. I have a mo <laughs> I have a mono a mono. I I don't think you want to do that. Good lord. Uh, okay, so I, I know you guys say don't kill Ishimaru, but if you dealt it one damage because you could punch it for you're at nine attack, you're at nine fight. Yeah. Okay. I'm punching. Um, I'm punching Ishimaru. And then I could, and I can use four charges and just kill her, and then we don't have to worry about it. Everything else we can just put on that thing. Okay. Oh boy, you realize I'm petering out. All right. Well, I I punched her for one. Cool. And uh, you know what? I'm just gonna vaporize her. Yep. She's dead. Three damage. Okay. Uh, nope. You're. She's not engaged with you. Oh, I think engaged. Okay. Well. Uh... Well. I will exhaust. I will uh, evade her, hopefully, and then you can be the one who engages her next. Uh, okay. Is that fair? Yeah, sure. Okay. So speaking of ex exhausting her, I am uh, up one on her. Do I neither rain nor snow, or do I just wait to lucky this? I think I'm going to wait to lucky it. So I'm up one yeah. to evade her. Oh, she's evaded. Oh. So that was yeah, cool. no, she can just engage. What? Yeah. She can just engage me. And then and then since we're waiting for the specter of yeah. douchebaggery, I'm just gonna get rid of Call by the Miss. Okay. Are you guys okay with that? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that. That is good. It's not sexy, but we're good. All right, monsters. Ishimaru goes to you. So I could use my encyclopedia to boost Stella. So if she wants to take Derringer shots, I don't know if that would help. Yeah. Are, we, are we with Are we with the Spectre now? No, that'll be next. No, time. not yet. But here. Oh, okay. Because skulls are only minus two. I'll, I'll have a much better shot against that thing. I just got an occult invocation. Boom. Are we letting him run to us, or are we going no, to him? 
I'm going into him so we have more time. Well, okay. that's, uh, you know, depends on what I draw. <gasps> Vicious blow. Okay, good. All right. Everybody take your dollar and a card. I got a cult invocation, so this might be pretty cool. All right. Oops is nice. Um, Jesse, you got the uh, doom? Uh, yes, of course. There were two. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, sir. And I have a poltergeist. Cool. You know, if anyone's going to get a goddamn one of those, it's you. Yeah, I say it's it's okay with me. And I got eyes in the walls. Test brains three. For each point you fail by, I take a horror. Well, at least you got okay. four brains. Yeah, I'm just going to let it go. Minus three. No so one. I lose by two. Yep. I have to give one to Granny Orn. Oh, Jesus. And one to me. <laughs> and I failed the test, guys. Yep, you're four actions, baby. Four actions next turn. Do I have anything to like, play on that oh, right now? I don't. Oh, gosh. What? Say it again. Uh, you got the fun guy. He's only one of eight, so... Well, I know what He's I'm using my mono. Uh, I'm not fighting the thing this turn. <laughs> well, we could evade him. Um, no, it's it's honestly not worth it because, like, ah, we're just gonna get bogged down if we're not moving. We're just no, gonna we're get bogged moving. down gonna, until we die. I got an extra action, Mike. I'm gonna take that off you and evade it. I need someone okay. to do something with that specter of death because I cannot deal 15 without dying. I need right. someone to at least tank it for a turn or something. I can tank it for a turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. If then you want to stick here, it can hit me. I don't care. I'm, I've got, I, I'm pretty beefy. Yeah, I'm largely untouched here, Mike. So Okay, because then yeah. you guys go first. I'll deal with this guy, but I will end up at your location at the end of this turn. Well, why don't I deal with that guy? I have Stella go first. Because then I have to tank that thing. Well, if, if you don't move into that location, you let it come to us. Um, Guys, I have mono a mono. Like, it, it is our most action-efficient way of getting rid of this thing. And being no, but Mike, right I'm now. saying I can take the mal malformed skeleton off you, evade it, walk over to the Spectre of Death, and try to evade it. Yeah, but this malformed skeleton hunts. We're going to have to deal with him right now. Yeah, away. but... No, because when... Remember, he's just going to wake up. He won't move. If I exhaust him, right? Yeah, but then I'm going to be here, stuck at this location for a good three rounds. No, because we're going to exhaust him and flip and run, dude. We're not getting the victory? We should be able, no, we should be able to do it. I've got a, a cult invocation and another way to deal three more damage, so that's like six. Um, Stella's got two bullets, so she can deal four. That's ten. And then we got a thing. So, I think like, we're okay. Okay. Well, so here's, here's, you, want me to, you want me to hang back here to shoot the skeleton? No, you need me to take the Spectre Death's damage, right? I, yeah, I need someone to take the Spectre's damage for at least a turn. Or we can I'm pass it amongst that. ourselves. Or evade it, whatever you want to do. Um, do you not want me to evade? No, I'll take this guy. He's, he's nothing. Okay. And this uh, guy has Retaliate, right? Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, shoot, I can't give the... If can you give me encyclopedia attack, Harvey? Actually, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, I can. Um, yeah, so I have to go first. Yeah. So um, I'm going to do this fast and kill Ishimaru. She's dead. You also have that poultry guy. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. Uh, but this is fast. So I didn't cost any, not anything. Right. Um, so she is Salan. And. Um, so for my first action, I guess I will pull for guys to this guy. I'm at six. What's the skull here? We're at minus three? Yeah. Minus three, yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'm pretty good. All right. Um, okay. There you go. One damage. And then we're going to pull for guys again. And I think... I think... Minus three. All right. So it's dead. For my okay. third action, you can have my encyclopedia. Okay. I have four actions. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I'm going in. 
All right, this is uh oh he's not massive. Okay, that's cool. No, he's just a guy. He's just a guy like you know you and me, probably misunderstood. All right. So he's exhausted, doing... so he takes one less damage from each attack made against it. I'm not going to exhaust him. Okay. All right, so I am shooting at five, right? Because... Um, seven with the uh, encyclopedia. That's right. Okay, so let me take shot one. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. Boom. Nice. Two, Two damage. damage. Okay. Shot two. <laughs> okay. Oh, I knew it. One damage. Boo. All right. All right. So boo. Just then. Is. Then I'm just gonna punch him in the face. All right. Yeah, why not? You're five on three. All right, five on three. Right here we go. Boom. There you go. Boom. There you go. Nicely right. done. Nice job. All right. I would have five damage, but that's me. Yeah. So my skulls are minus three from here, right? Yeah, so I'm good. Correct. Uh, mono, mono. Does three. I attack. He's dead. Doesn't even have victory. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's not really that hard to deal with. He just hits hard. Yeah. But it's that, and if, if you've got the cor several, uh, one or two corpse dwellers, it gets a little challenge. Yeah. So we can and potentially you're... see him again in three rounds, just so you know. All right, so now you're with me, Mike? <laughs> I am with you. Oh, and I did that. Because... No, I didn't. No, I Are you didn't. done? I am done. That's all of us. All right. That's all of us. Enemy phase. I take two and two, and I will put it all on me. Okay. Okay. Take a dollar and a card. All right. Whatever. Oh, thank goodness. Now's the time to draw an old key ring, I've always said. <laughs> nice. That's better than a tickophobia or whatever else. I'm just like, not a weakness, not a weakness, not now, not now, <laughs> not now, <laughs> not Tommy, jeez. Uh, okay. Three of 12. Oh, you got it? Okay. Yep. And here we go. The bad stuff. Ooh, the shadow behind me. So there's three of them in the deck. I drew Crypt Chill. That's why Relentless exists in my deck. Oh, you know what? I am so happy to fail this and throw away my empty gun. Oh, yeah, do it, do it. All right. I'm down one. Okay. Oh, Yay! you failed, buddy. You failed. Oh, no. I have four actions. <laughs> and it didn't hurt you. Uh, <laughs> I'm okay what we got here? with this one. Uh, yeah, yeah you have no horror yet. Yeah, because uh, my brother took it all. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> now, now, I can help with this. Yeah, I can make you lose horror. my less. Because you're at, what do you add there, Mike? Just three loss? Yeah, I'm at the three loss. So I would take, I'd be at zero. That's a tough um, one. I... Are we going to need it in combat? That's all I'm thinking. Well, I'm not dealing well, extra I damage think... at all. So I'm just like punching. So... Right. And I'm already up. If I fail, it's going to be an auto fail. And then Lucky doesn't help at all with that. So yeah. why not I Lucky you right now? Sure. You get to draw a card, too. Draw a card. Oh, thank you, oh boy. Uh, do I have to draw the card? No. Oh, I do? Yes. Okay, good. Phew! Ooh, it looks like you oh. actually have to draw it, yes. I got a dodge! Really dodge seems like a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hot damn. Okay. All right. It is now us, um, correct? Uh, I got... I, yeah, I, you, you, all right. You want me to go first? No, that's all right. Because I can. Uh, um, I think I Harvey should show up and. Okay. I think Harvey should show up and read us a book. Uh, yeah. Why not? I don't need the book, but. I do. How many? You took my lucky away. 
four, five, six, seven. I'm doing eight damage. I got eight damage in me. Okay. And how much does he have on it? Uh, if you can do three more, and that's assuming I don't auto fail. Um, three wait, more what's damage. What's the plan? What's happening? We can kill the Spectre of Death potentially this turn. That'd be good. Okay. So, it's um, going to take... Oh, we lost a, a location, by the way. Uh, let's see. Let me think about this. One, two... And if Harvey's going to read a, a power book, I don't want to be the recipient of that. So, uh, so. Okay. Uh, I think that we're... I have to... You have to. Uh... Okay, so I, I okay, that's fine. I'll just move in and read the book uh, and look behind me first. Um... Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then here you go. There's the book, uh, and you can okay. do that. Um, All right. I think. I think well, you know what. Now... now, Nathaniel, if you miss, I I, I can't take a ton of punches. He, he could dodge you. No, you but know what? I can't. He can't dodge you if he hits me in the face. Yeah, I can't dodge Nathaniel. I can't dodge Harvey. Oh. By the way, if you spent all your money on Occult Invocation and spent all your cards, look behind you would whiff. Or the shadow behind yeah. you would whiff. I, I can't. If I'm moving as well to do the book, that's two actions. So, like, you mean commit them? No, I mean, if you played Occult Invocation. And then threw all or, your cards away. Then yeah, uh, Shadow Behind You does oh, oh. absolutely nothing. That's because true. you'll have no money and no cards, and it would still... Hey, you know what? If you guys don't mind, I can try that. Don't mind it at all. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Because you can still read the encyclopedia to me, right? Yep. Okay, yeah, so let's do a call indication. I'm at six, um, seven, eight. You'll lose that card so, anyways, man. You'll lose your docent. I think well, I can only discard two. I thought you could discard three. Um, oh, it is two. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Well, um... I actually have another plan. Um, I can use my um, Necronomicon to draw three cards. So it'll give me a chance of keeping it. Um, yeah, you're right. No, it won't. Um, that doesn't give you a chance of keeping it at all. You either discard oh, all, all your cards or all your money. Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. It's pretty exciting, uh, Gardeen. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Three damage. Boom. And I didn't hit Stella this time. You know what? That would have actually been crippling if you did this time. <laughs> well, it was crippling last time, too. No. So, so all right. Mike? Okay. I got this. Do you? Can you right. take it off me? Get over here! Yay! Nice. All right, let's vicious blow this sucker. All right, so that's uh, two damage. He's at nine. Okay. Uh, then I'll go one two for a one two punch, which will deal an additional two just because. And then uh, I get plus three fight on this next attack. Dude, that level five card is amazing. <laughs> it, it is so and crazy. And it does good. three more damage. That is insane. <laughs> <laughs> So, I never saw that before. I never I, saw it. Like, yeah, do I automatically see and then fight again. Yeah, for that much damage, then I just punch him and I kill him. Yes. Okay. Wow. So yeah, that damage output was insane. I. <laughs> wow. So thanks for taking that hit. Um... Are you guys cool if I just run to the door? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, you yeah, or or should that... we stay? You know what? Maybe we should stay together. To be honest. Grab clues. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go. I'll go you can't here. resign. Everyone has to be at Gates of Hell. Everyone has to be there. Yeah, there is no resign. Hey, yeah, put so, your rabbit's foot down for for no reason. 
You know? Why not? Um, because he might draw his weakness. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to move there. I'm going to play... Fast. One, two, three, four. Will to survive. Nice. <laughs> My second action. Remember, I have I have four actions. You just grab them both. I'll grab the clue. Will to survive is only my next one. Oh okay. Oh yeah, that's right. So Granny Orn is actually. I think I have to tap her to even do it. Oh no, I was gonna do the key ring. Sorry, to make me even. Yeah. Right. No, no. She was, with Granny Orn. You're at even. Oh, Granny Orn, I was even. That's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm doing the key ring oh, yeah. and the rabbit's foot to be up two on the next one. Okay. Yep. Okay. And you that... passed because you're up by, yeah, it's only minus one yep. from up there. I pass. And then on my last action, I'm going to take a dollar. Okay. All right. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move back to my friends. Aww. 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 Here at the end of all things. <laughs> all right. Uh, monster phase. Any monsters? Uh, he doesn't hunt, though. Okay. We have a destroyed location. Yes. Yep. Take a, well, first we take a dollar and a card. Oh, yeah. No weakness. No weakness. Ooh, another gun. I'm going to lose. Whoops. Sorry. I took your card. It's all good. You took whose card? I, oh my gosh. Now you get it. Get what? You got leveled up perception. Oh, yeah. sweet. Yeah, which I'm going to lose on my first turn. So we're at four of 12. Oh, yeah. Oh, moving right along right. here. Uh, so, yeah, look at that. Corpse Willer. Oh, he's all the way back there. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Okay. Yeah. I drew Crypt Chill. Well, you oh, might well, get rid of Granny Orn. I don't want that. Neither rain nor I'm snow. I'm going to play neither rain. Neither rain. I am up. You're up by three. I'm up three. Granny Orn saves Got herself. It. Yeah. Granny Orn's so good. Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, well, look at that. Uh, Nathaniel has something to entertain himself with. Um... Oh, I actually don't have any damaging abilities. Oh. Whew. <laughs> I spent a lot. Well. That is so annoying if we can't get out here. Well, you can just drag him. Can I? Right. I, or one of us can. Yes, I can. I can get. I, I will be one hit from death, but I can do it. I want to have a dodge. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Yeah. Well, let's just all run out. Run, guys. Let's go. You first, Harvey. Elderly uh, first. Well, thank you. Uh, do you guys need anything? Don't do anything uh, fancy, Harvey. Just run. Yeah, I'm just going to move, move, resign, right? Yeah, uh, you don't resign. You just move, move, and then you do something. And then you wait for us. Yep. Uh, okay, so draw, your okay. crippling, draw your crippling weakness. <laughs> actually, actually, this gets discarded. Um, um, yeah, you know what? You know what? Sure, I'll... I'll uh, I'll just go ahead and investigate because it's fun. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, Nathan, if you're okay, bye. Okay. Uh, I am going to move once, play a dodge to cancel that attack of opportunity. Uh, move again, suffering one damage and one horror. And then I guess I'm just going to punch him. Punch him on the way out. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then and you had just enough. Is it at the end of the round we advance? Nope, we just advance right now. Once we're all there, you know you get the hit. Awesome. So the catacombs rumble and collapse behind you as you make your escape. You are able to follow the stranger's shadow, tracing his steps to find your way through the labyrinthine passages. You cross the threshold of the catacombs entrance, a wave of rubble and bone chips following in your wake. 
The deafening noise of falling debris crashes behind you, and you turn to find the entrance blocked by a newly formed wall of bone and rock. Just as you are ready to depart, a partially charred skull bearing a strange diagram rolls to a stop at your feet. There is no sign of the stranger anywhere. R1. Woo! Nice done. Yeah. All right. Well, I have a story for right. you guys now. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Yep. Resolution listen. 1 from, from the Pallid Mask. The burned skull holds the key to everything. You're sure of it. You've tried every method available to you in studying the diagram it bears, but the answer eludes you still. You've brought the skull to experts, occultists, professors. You've even tried speaking with the skull on more than one occasion. <laughs> Exasperated, you place the skull on your night table and try to get some sleep for the first time since escaping the catacombs. As you fall asleep, you cannot shake the sight of the diagram etched in the skull's forehead. You awaken with a spark of inspiration and rush to the Musée du Louvre, a famous Parisian museum housing tens of thousands of paintings, drawings, and archaeological finds. You spend days exploring the museum. Every display, every collection, every single object of art that might hold a clue to the diagram's meaning. Finally, you see it. A painting depicting a beautiful island town weathering a torrential storm. Waves crash against the stone of the outer wall, the tide threatening to swallow the island whole. Lightning flashes around the tower of the abbey above the village. A whirlwind of black clouds churns in the sky above. The diagram from the burned skull you hold in your hands is recreated perfectly in the stained glass of the abbey. The title of the piece is The Path is Open. Mike, we've got some recording to do, my friend. Okay. I think I've already in done it. In your campaign log, record that you know the site of the gate. Done. Remove all cultist tablets and elder things, and then add two cultists to the bag. So that's the same. Done. Um, add Ishimaru Haruko to VIP slain. Done. All right. Done. Each investigator earns XP equal to the XP value of each card in the victory display. Is that just three? Uh, it's not going to be a lot, I don't think. Yeah, it's just three. That's yeah. the problem with finding it early. But yeah. I'm going to oh, see what these other locations were. Uh, this one here. And this one here. So it looks like the Shivering Pools was the was one more VP we might have been able to get. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. Oh, that's pretty rough. Well, maybe. Okay. Well, we okay. So we really got seventy five percent of what was actually available. Yeah. We only got three, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. You're counting this and this and the monster. That's it. Yeah. yeah that's it. Well, we got. It. That's just one leveled up Granny Orn. Mm. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. That's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, there you have it. The Pallid Mask. Dude, that was awesome. It's a fun little quest. Every time. It, we did really well. So. It had uh, some yeah. tight moments. But, yeah. Yeah, but like. If you look at our damage and horror, like, uh, well, Daniel oh. took a bunch of hits, but <laughs> yeah, mostly from treacheries, but yeah, yeah, it's it's. If you don't have a lot of uh, uh, enemy management, this scenario gets bogged down pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, I think we, I I think we're a, a pretty good trio, like, yeah, we do pretty good. We just I, sort of cover. I think we cover each other in really like. If, really if nice there ways. was more clue acceleration available for the starter decks, we'd be really good. But there yeah. just there just isn't. So. Um, I took seeking answers level two to get clue acceleration. <laughs> so. I mean, I suppose I could just get Greta out, but she's five. She's so are always playing events. Just it's she's so expensive, and I don't know that she's that great. Like I, 
I like her in some builds, but not in Nathaniel. Yeah, it's like that five is just man, that's expensive. I mean, Tommy Muldoon, that's that's five resources when she dies too. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, I think we'll end it there. Thank you, everyone, for watching. That was a fun one. Thank you, Daniel and Jesse, for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. And just so you're aware, next week we are back with Arkham because of that Ooh. little scheduling mix-up and change. We are going to do Black Stars Rise next week, and then it's the Christmas season, and we'll see what happens because, Daniel, I know you're heading out of town for a bit. I'll be around and other things are happening. If you guys are playing Arkham, I believe on Sergi's channel, whatever the one that he plays the, the blob on, he's doing a uh, War of the Outer Gods epic multiplayer sometime during the Christmas season, and he's put up a poll to ask when people are available. But I think there's going to be Ooh. two, maybe even three games uh, just after Christmas. So get in on that if you want. Yeah, to. Everybody get in on that. Yeah. I'm going to do what I can yeah. to get in on that. Cool. I'm playing yeah. at least once, so yeah. We'll see. Okay. Thank you, everyone, and good night. Good night, all. All right. Good night, all.